What's up, family? I'm going to tell y'all something that I've learned since I've been worshiping the Most High in Spirit and Truth. There are pathways that he will take you through, and each of those pathways, someone in the Bible has already gone through. So you need to find out whose season you're going through, and usually he'll tell you. He'll send you a message you listen to, it, and they'll be like, Esther this, or Joseph that, or whatever. And if you keep hearing that, that means that you are in the Joseph season. You are in the Esther season. You are in the Moses season. And what I implore you to do per the Holy Spirit's leading is to go study that person because that's what he's telling you that you are in that season, the season of Jonah. Are you running from something? You know what I'm saying? So once you figure out what season you're in, first and foremost, that's how you figure out a lot of times what season you're in by listening to him. He has these subtle ways, these beautiful subtle ways of talking to us through numbers or through videos or through... Um, uh, his voice audibly, like I'm talking to you. Everybody doesn't have that one. Everybody doesn't have all of them, but you have to find out how he talks to you. It could be a commercial, commercials on TV. It could be movies. It could be music, and it doesn't have to be gospel. As y'all know, many of the gospel singers have been have been um, not exploited. <laughs> have been um, follow us the word. Um, Put on blast, okay? They've been their wickedness has been brought to the light, okay? And uh, we can't have a closed mind when we are trying to hear from the Lord. You don't push it; you just let it flow. But you cannot have a closed mind because if you have a closed mind, you won't hear from Him. I promise you. Stay in your words so that you can hear from Him, okay? But just remember, there are pathways and levels to this. So if you keep hearing Esther this, Esther that. Joseph this, Joseph that, you can, you know, Jonah this, Jonah. Pay attention. If he mentions it three times, that's the season you're in. Sometimes he'll mention it twice. Once you get elevated in the spirit where you have a strong spiritual discernment and he knows that you're there, he'll give it to you one time. He might give it to you twice, but the three and four and five and six, he's going to be like, okay, just like he told the disciples. Y'all still don't get it? <laughs> Our father's a G. But anyway... <laughs> I just wanted to share that while it was on my spirit, okay? Remember that. If you don't know how to see what season you're in, pay attention to the signs. Oh, and one other thing. The Most High said, for those of you that don't believe in prophecy, it is going to be hard for you because you have a, um, a stony heart and you don't read your word and you are being uh, led to and fro because you really don't believe, but you're trying to figure it out by listening to videos and messages and things. Oh, speak, Holy Spirit. But at the end of the day, you can listen to a thousand people. If your heart is not receiving it, you are not going to see it. Okay? And how do we, pre how do we please the Father? Faith. Faith pleases Him. So build your faith, and you build your faith by hearing the Word of God. Okay? Peace and blessings.